All right, guys, SBY technicals to watch from here. So today, SPY down 1.4%. So let's take a look at the heat map, where the weakness came from. Technology, communication services, energy, second day in a row, basically sell-off. Pretty much everything except utilities and healthcare held up slightly better, some names. But overall, pretty orderly sale, nothing crazy basically meltdown all day and volume on SPY 76 million so nothing crazy and also let me take a look let me just uh, show you the levels I'm watching from here and we talked about these levels so basically as a support in the morning I was watching yesterday's lows it did flash right in the morning and then this gray zone basically this gray zone as a support it did hold this 395 slide a bit and then came outside of this range came back in why I was watching this range is because before Jerome Powell basically spoke on uh, Wednesday that was the zone that was holding as a support okay yeah we did wipe out basically 100% of this move that was pretty much a lot of people couldn't explain why why the hell we moved as much well here it is people pretty much uh, used this move to get out and maybe to lock some gains and now from here even if this level doesn't hold just like I told on two other previous videos basically yesterday the day before yesterday it would be awesome to see SPY at 50 day moving average and then go long at this level. We're not too far away from there. If we take a look at basically the, the level from here all the way to 50 day, let's say we have a CPI next week, right? How much it has to move? Two and a half percent, another 10 points from SPY would get us to that 50 day moving average all right so but even this level from 390 to all the way to 395 this is zone if even if we just chop around here and then decide to go higher I can definitely hop in there but I want to give it a time for two days basically it's pretty big move to uh, to basically slowly even if we sold off very orderly uh, I wouldn't just go straight long from here because at the moment momentum is to the downside even if we get rest day tomorrow maybe we will be inside of the day and it won't move much and then going into Friday if it slips below I'll, I'm patiently waiting for that 50 day moving average going into um next week and maybe just like i told with the expiration date opex uh 16th of december so that that's what's happening basically if it just kills a lot of calls i would go long after that date going into basically christmas for the rest of the year a lot of people i think already um thinking that uh that's at Christmas rally cancelled but we were clear I, I knew that I didn't want to go long right here after, above this 200 day moving average even if it moved higher I would not chase it so yeah that's these are the levels I'm watching if you take a look at the option volume today uh, just like yesterday so let's take a look at the put to call ratio for spy and then SBX because um, yesterday there were a lot of uh, there were not a lot but they were 50% more put buyers than call buyers so let's see what happened today because if people closed out their puts and today they didn't open more puts that means let's take a look so 1.2 million calls 1.8 million SPX puts put to call ratio 1.44 that means people are still buying puts it could be people buying 
protection. It could be people playing uh, short-term uh, momentum play, but that option volume is telling me that market was bearish just like yesterday. And if it goes lower and it has a room to go lower because from here risk to the upside is all the way 200 a moving average. So basically um, another what? 10 points to the upside, 10 points basically to the downside. So risk to reward is 50-50 from here for me. So I'm basically just watching at this point. I have not traded SPX, SPY, uh, stocks that I traded. I got pretty much slapped pretty hard, especially Roku long and uh, PayPal short pretty much broke even, even though it came down premiums are expensive so you gotta be careful all right so that's the update i don't want to go too in depth with this video for sbx spy thanks for watching uh, i'll see you in the next one